Jean Watson is known for the theory of human caring, which she first introduced in 1979. Watson theorized that caring is central to nursing. The nurse uses communication to facilitate a helping trust relationship, which is characterized by congruence, empathy, and warmth. Watson's framework for the science of caring is built around a collection of carative factors that result in the satisfaction of mental, physical, sociocultural, and spiritual human needs. One area of focus of these factors is the nurse's sensitivity to herself and her patients. As the nurse, nurse strives to become sensitive and aware, feelings and actions become more authentic. The caring relationship allows a mutual understanding of beliefs that are meaningful to the patient as well as the patient's perception and worldview. This understanding allows the nurse to promote growth through the interpersonal teaching learning process. The nurse strives to create a caring environment that offers the development of potential while allowing the patient to choose the best action for himself at a given point in time. This environment is supportive, protective, and corrective. Watson's theory of human caring places the nurse in the role of promoter of change, growth, and potential achievement. This role holds the patient at the center of practice and assumes the nurse has the ability to alter the practice environment. However, nurses care for patients within continually evolving conditions, which are not always conducive to the sensitive, authentic relationship building necessary to the theory of human caring. We are all well aware of our country's rapidly aging population. Older adults are more likely to be affected by factors that inhibit the formation of the authentic nurse-patient relationship. A person with dementia, for example, may be unable to effectively understand or communicate meaningful beliefs. Older adults may be more likely to view their role as patients within a paternalistic framework. They may not be inclined to voice their own beliefs, even when elicited by the nurse, because they do not feel it's their place to do so. Along with shifting age distribution, our nursing practice is also faced with changing ethnic composition. Communication difficulties with non-English speaking patients make an authentic relationship challenging. Also, openness with healthcare professionals may be counter to accepted cultural norms. Patients may also distrust the healthcare system due to historical abuses or legal concerns related to immigration. Patient autonomy has become an increasingly important value since the late 20th century. The nursing profession supports this right in the ANA social policy statement as well as the Code of Ethics for Nurses. The theory of caring provides a framework for promoting autonomy. As the population changes, nurses will need to introduce new techniques to the framework to best maintain patient self-determination. In order to mitigate constraints on autonomy of the older patient population, it's imperative for the nurse to elicit a clear understanding of the patient's authentic values. Older adults may be cognitively impaired in some cases, or they may be uncomfortable sharing this personal information for cultural reasons. A revised theory of human caring must give increased attention to biography as a mode for interpreting patient values. Information about life experience may be the start of a conversation that gets to the meaning of these experiences or the nurse may need to extrapolate from less information. The nurse should also incorporate the perspective of family members who have known the patient throughout these experiences, especially in cases when the patient is unable to speak for him or herself. This allows the nurse and patient to make decisions consistent with the patient's previous values and experience. Although connectedness is crucial to facilitating patient autonomy, Complete congruity between the nurse and patient can lead to a loss of ethical objectivity. The nurse must adopt the ability to move between various levels of engagement with the patient while maintaining a strong therapeutic relationship. During complete engagement, the nurse and patient are extensions of one another. However, situations arise that potentially threaten the connectedness, and disagreements between nurse and patient must not be regarded as failures in the growth process. As nurse and patient take stock of the situation and formulate the problem, the relationship is partially disengaged. Complete disengagement may be required in order to problem solve. 
In this state, the nurse and patient contemplate available options from their individual perspectives. Once resolution is found, engagement is reestablished in a strengthened state. The caring relationship endures because throughout the various stances of engagement, deep respect is held between the nurse and patient. The theory of human caring calls for the nurse to provide a setting in which the patient can choose the best decision at a given point in time. However, the individual's usual decision-making capacity can be significantly diminished in many situations, especially in the case of the older patient. If patients hold the ultimate responsibility for personal health care decisions, then treatment choices might fail to serve the patient's well-being. In such cases, the value of benevolence might sometimes require patients to be protected from the harmful consequences of their own choices. This conflict between benevolence and autonomy places the patient in a vulnerable position. It's imperative for the nurse to work with the patient and family members to form a clear understanding of what the patient truly values. Each person involved in the care relationship brings knowledge and experience that is necessary to achieve decisions that will best serve the patient's well-being.